Well, tomorrow is the big Putin-Biden meeting, and I'll have a lot to say after that meeting, but something else struck me over the last couple of days. While the White House, the NSC, the State Department, all of the leaders have been traveling overseas to meet with NATO and uh, the G7 and the Queen of England, the last couple of days, the entire team has spent in Brussels. Interesting enough, Kosovo and Serbia, of which I was the presidential envoy for talks and negotiation under the, in the Trump administration, Kosovo and Serbia have been having their latest round of talks in Brussels. This is now because the Biden team has decided to give up the leadership here. They are allowing the Europeans to lead the way on Kosovo-Serbia talks. And yet, those talks were taking place in Brussels the last couple of days. Well, the entire U.S. delegation was in Brussels, but not a single person from the American administration, the Biden administration, was able to walk over and show up at the Kosovo-Serbia negotiations and just lend a helping hand of support. If diplomacy is back, why can't you attend diplomatic meetings? I think it's pretty outrageous that they're in the same city and they couldn't help the Europeans lead on this Kosovo-Serbia negotiations. The leader of Kosovo and the leader of Serbia traveled to Brussels. They were there to talk about the next steps. And you know who wasn't there? Not a single person from the United States Biden administration delegation.